I'm Tamsin Fidel. A PIX11 in partnership with the Broadway Channel brings you this backstage on Broadway Extra. Do you love me? Do you love me, baby? Do you love me? Yeah. Oh, now that I this show is a juggernaut. It's going to be a sellout, and I can't wait to sit there and just sing all the songs. I'm such a fan of this lady right here. I got a chance to sing a tribute for her at the Kennedy Center Honors a few years back. So um, she's fantastic, and everybody in the Motown sound is wonderful. Well, we know the music's going to be fantastic. Yeah, we just want to dance. A, a lot of people are going to be so amazed. Like my friends, when they see it, I know they're going to say, I didn't know your dad could sing so good. Yeah, you know, this is my family, you know, my grandfather, I'm very proud of him. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I've been to one other play in my life and I've been to a lot of concerts, live concerts, you know. And I gotta say, overall, as far as the show is concerned, this was the best show I've ever seen. Do you love me now that I can dance? And it's just, I love that song. Watch me now, hey! Work, work, I'll work it out, baby! It was incredible for me, he is so wonderful. He is great, and I was so proud, and I was so happy. I actually cried during the performance because, you know, to see uh, what has been your entire life depicted accurately at last, and on Broadway, it's incredible. And this guy is wonderful. And then she said, just because you become a young man now, I'm glad they picked him to be me. <laughs> me too. Yeah. <laughs> My mama told me, that thank you, I think, was the first thing I said. I said, thank you, sir, <laughs> for paving the way for us. This has been an opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm so lucky to get to play this wonderful man. I mean, he's such a great person. I'm so lucky that I get to portray him on Broadway, and I'm very lucky that Mr. Gordy decided to finally bring his story to Broadway. I hadn't seen anything. I didn't know what it was, what to expect. In fact, he started to try to tell me, and I said, don't tell me. I want to see it. So it was wonderful. really so amazing to stand on the outside, excuse me, and look at myself on the stage and see how other people see me, you know? Kind of really amazing. Well, I think the girl is so talented, really beautiful and talented, and a sweetheart, you know, so it was good love, really nice. Oh my God, that brings joy to me because I know Mr. Gordy has worked so hard for this and I know he loves her dearly and so that the fact that she was here to share this moment with him is beyond anything that I could ask for. I thought he told a lot of his secrets, that bedroom scene, I don't know. I wouldn't have told that. <laughs> no, I didn't want to tell it, but I decided I just had to let it all hang out. I was just thrilled to be with this woman because uh, she was responsible for all of my inspiration to do what I did. I didn't realize that while I was doing it. And then I realized that in one scene where I thought I had lost her, and I realized that she was my life. And even though I had all these other Motown artists that I loved, without that inspiration, everybody would have suffered. So she was it. So her being with me tonight brought and back she such been great. A little nicer. <laughs> yeah, I should have been a little nicer. I see that now. But I put it on the stage. I let them know that hey, I wasn't the nicest cat. <laughs> being with me wasn't that easy. And she let me know that because she got rid of my ass. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, a music and a movement at the same time because I remember going to Russia I mean, like music and a movement. That is perfect. It literally changed the world, and that is what people who see the show tell me when they when they see me after the show. They thank me, and they thank me from the bottom of their hearts for bringing Motown alive for them again because of how important it was to them as they as they as they came up in this world. Don't you know that I had to do the great I'm on cloud nine. I wish I could do a little dance right now. To perform Stevie in front of Stevie was a little scary at first. And uh, after I did it, he gave me his blessing. And so now all the pressure's off. And um, you know, if Stevie gives you permission to be Stevie, you have nothing to worry about.
following Michael Jackson ever since I was five. I'm a huge fan of him. And so I knew this role, this part was for me. Tonight was an absolute dream come true. I can't really describe what tonight was other than saying it's just, it's everything I could have hoped for and more. That's what the world is today.